Two people injured by a hit-and-run driver on I-91 in Wallingford. Good evening, I'm Don Lark. Tonight we're awaiting more information on the circumstances leading up to the crash. Both victims were taken to Yale New Haven Hospital. So far, no charges in the case, but the hit-and-run vehicle has been located. News 8 Sarah Welch has the latest. State police say the car involved in the hit and run along I-91 was found here at this house in Wallingford shortly after the crash around 2.30 Sunday morning. State police say the hit and run driver, 20-year-old Taylor Conlin of Wallingford, was heading north on 91 when Conlin sideswiped a car that was involved in another crash in that same area. Two people standing next to that car in the right lane were struck by Conlin. She fled the scene. The vehicle later found at her address on Pearson Road in Wallingford. The crash shut down part of I-91 for hours. 24-year-old Greg Capo of Springfield, Mass., suffered serious injuries and was taken to Yale New Haven Hospital. 35-year-old Santiago Figueroa of Agawam, Mass., was treated and released for minor injuries. The accident, a reminder to other drivers of the dangers of being a pedestrian on the highway. Especially at that time of night, you know, Whatever happens, happens. Make sure you're safe first, even if it means pulling off the highway, pulling all the way, you know, wherever to a safe spot. Call 911. I've been in a situation where I've been hit before, and um, but unfortunately they did stop. If they would have kept going, it's a sad situation. That's someone's life. I mean, it could have just that one stop for you just to make that quick phone call could save somebody's life. If you witness this accident, you're asked to contact state police. On the scene in Wallingford, Sarah Welch, News 8.